Hello guys, hope you all are doing great and the topic of today's video is how to use Vimeo online video editor complete Vimeo tutorial. So here we are on Vimeo, they provide us the opportunity to create and edit videos online and we need to click on join for free to create an account. We can easily create it with email or we can join with Gmail as for me this is definitely the easiest variant. And in a few seconds, we'll be able to interact with our video. So here we are on our dashboard. As you can see, in the left side, we have a menu. Uh, from the dashboard, we can easily interact with recent videos. We can also upload video from our computer, record, create or create an event. You can also find the Vmail stuff here and on our library, we can easily interact with all the media we are imported here. So let's click on a new video right up here and I'm going to click on create video to start creating and in a few seconds we'll come to this page here. From this page we can easily find a lot of different templates related with other categories. So we can filter them by different stuff, personal, moments, birthday, love, recommended, e-commerce, seasonal moments and so on. So there are a lot of different templates we can easily use for free on Vmail. But in my case, I'm going to click on create your own. And now we have two options, get a quick video, upload photos and clips and we'll do our magic. So you get a polished video or we can create from scratch. So in order to use all the features, we need to click on create from scratch. I will come to our editor. So now uh, the first thing I'm going to do is just to click on upload on media folder and we'll have to upload our own um, videos we have. So I'm going to use two of these here. It may take a little time until everything will be uploaded. In the right side, we have the player. From this page, we can easily preview all the scenes we have on Vmail. So we can easily find how does it look like how does our video look like basically in the left side we can switch between media where we can find all the media we uploaded videos photos images we can also use like stock footages into different categories technology small businesses commuting education and so on so every single category contains from thousands of different videos we can easily use some of them are free and some of them are only for paid version we also have the presets here where we can find some templates we can use if it's necessary so um, as you can see we can find the intros live events corners basic frames and so on sometimes it could be helpful if you want to create and add them into your video uh, we also have the text area from this page we can easily add the title headline sub headline caption and so on so we have like four of these templates and we can easily do it on the graphics we can find some other stuff like what is in motion tags different shapes frames and what is interesting is that we have like gradients here so sometimes it could be really helpful uh, for example this one here buttons social uh, call to action things and so on. So if you're going to create a YouTube video, we can just simply use the sign out, thank you, subscribe and so on. On the music area also we can find a lot of different categories we can simply use. So uh, they're all the copyright free so we can use it. And the all music here and we can also upload our own music by simply clicking on this button here. Nothing hard, pretty easy. And on the palette we can also change the color palette to customize the template if you are using for example. Also we have the option to, steal be uh, to switch between different formats from horizontal to vertical and squared it depends on the type of content you're creating for example for youtube horizontal is more suitable for youtube shorts is vertical for instagram reels vertical uh, tiktok is also vertical and for example instagram posts are squared so in this case uh, that's all for the interface let's start creating so i'm going to media and i'm going to use my media here and all i need to do to create a sun is just simply click on plus right up here and as you can see uh, two suns were successfully added now we can delete this empty sun because it was automatically created as for us and now we can view how does it look like i'd like to switch to timeline here basically uh, we can use it like this stuff here let's click on done 
and now uh, we can interact with every single sand separately we have the option for example we can delete hide mute and duplicate also we can trim so if you want to change the duration so now we have like one minute video i want to make it like five seconds i'm going to click on done the same thing i want to do is with a good weather video so the same thing yes click on done and also i like to resize the this video so i'm going to click and then i want to change the size and increase it like this to remove the um, black parts in the top and in the bottom of the screen and also i want to add the text to every single sun i want to add this text here at the title and i want to change the color so as you can see every single element has its own properties in the top of the screen here so i'd like to write something like this let it be bad bad uh, weather and as you can see we can add the uh, change the fonts colors add the animation change the size change the alignment add the drop shadow um, edit trimming and do some other stuff so now our sand looks like this and as you can see pretty cool and after that the uh, good weather began so i want to add the text for the good weather the same thing let it be good weather so i want to change the color for white and now it looks like this pretty pretty cool i like it so much in this case we can easily add some more graphics if it's necessary let's try to add maybe uh this herd here so we can replace place it here and for the bad sign i'd like to add something also are related to bad weather you will find it right up here for example let's try to add basically this gradient here so i'm going to rotate it because it should be from the bottom to the top and also i want to resize it so now our weather looks much much better so as you can see pretty pretty cool and if you're going to click on save our project will be automatically saved and now we can click on basically preview but uh, in a few seconds it will be automatically rendered so if you're going to wait for a little our video will be rendered and um, in a few seconds we'll be able to share it with our viewers if it's necessary so basically this is the way of how can we interact with a video editor on vimeo we can click on download and now we can download the video from vimeo so that's all for this video hope this video helped you out please leave a like comment and subscribe i wish you guys a very good day goodbye